large and strong typhoon Ma On is over the sea southeast of Kyushu, bringing heavy winds and rain to the Pacific coast from western Japan to the central Tokai region. Japan's meteorological agency says Ma On is estimated to have passed by Tanegashima at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour at 11 p.m. Japan time or 2 p.m. UTC on Monday. This graphic shows the typhoon as of 1.45 p.m. UTC. The typhoon has a central atmospheric pressure of 950 hectopascals. Winds of up to 144 kilometers per hour are blowing near its center. Waves are expected to reach a height of 12 meters in Kyushu, Shikoku and the southern Kinki region. The agency says the storm is likely to land in western Japan and warns of strong winds and high waves. Heavy rain is also forecast. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has built a makeshift roof over a turbine building at the plant as Typhoon Maon approaches. The Tokyo Electric Power Company said on Monday that the work to cover a hole in the roof of the plant's number three turbine building was completed earlier in the day. The hole was caused by a hydrogen explosion in a neighboring reactor building in March. The makeshift metallic roof consists of three parts, each five meters long and 16 meters wide, that were installed by a crane. The roof is designed to prevent an increase of radioactive wastewater in the building. TEPCO plans to cover another hole in the building's roof on Tuesday and is stacking sandbags to prevent rainwater from entering the facility. And is stacking sandbags to prevent rainwater from entering the facility. My God, you are serious. Three prefectures in northeastern Japan have identified more farms that shipped beef from cattle that had been fed cesium tainted straw. Fukushima Prefecture says seven farms in six municipalities fed their cattle straw that had been left outdoors after the March nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The straw was found to contain radioactive cesium at up to 520 times the government's safety standard. The farm shipped 411 head of cattle to meat processing facilities in five prefectures, including Tokyo, from late March to early July. In Niigata Prefecture, radioactive cesium levels as high as 15 times the government standard were detected in straw given to cattle at two farms. The straw was from Miyagi Prefecture, which borders Fukushima. One of the farms has shipped 24 head of cattle. Yamagata Prefecture says four farms in three municipalities shipped 70 head of contaminated cattle from early April to mid-July. Investigators have found that a total of 648 head of cattle have been shipped after being fed contaminated straw. The amount of contaminated meat found to have been distributed to markets across the country is expected to rise. The amount of contaminated meat found to have been distributed to markets across the country is expected to rise. Japan's nuclear crisis minister says he wants to move the nuclear safety agency from the Ministry of Economy and Industry and integrate it with another nuclear watchdog. Goshi Hosono discussed plans for the much-criticized agency during an NHK program on Sunday. He added that some of the monitoring now done by the Science Ministry's separate Nuclear Safety Commission would be moved to the new entity to be created by merging it with the Nuclear Safety Agency. Hosono said he plans to draw up a blueprint early next month so the new watchdog can start work as soon as possible, hopefully by next April. Following the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant, the government has come to believe the current nuclear regime lacks the independence needed to ensure full safety. The Nuclear Safety Agency sits under the umbrella of the economy industry, which also promotes nuclear power. The IAEA 
earlier reported that Japanese nuclear oversight is too complex to enable swift decisions in times of emergency. The Japanese government and Tokyo Electric Power Company will announce on Tuesday a revised plan to bring the reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant under control. The utility began operating a system to decontaminate radioactive water at the end of last month, but the system is working below the target capacity due to leaks and other problems. The decontamination rate dropped to 37 tons of water per hour at one point, more than 20 percent below the target capacity. It increased to 239 tons per hour after TEPCO workers released air from the pipes on Friday. They also replaced a hose connecting the tanks to ease water circulation. However, the rate dropped again to 37 tons per hour on Monday morning. The company says the reason for the decrease is unknown. The government and TEPCO are expected to say that the first stage of the revised plan has been almost completed and is on schedule.